remember me. I, uh, I figured I'd make a bit of a comeback. It's been many, many months since I made any content for YouTube or any of my other social media channels, really. Uh, and that's thanks to what we're all going through right now. I'm no different to anyone else. Lots of things have changed this last kind of 10, 12 months uh, for myself, as I'm sure they have for, for everyone. And it's kind of led to a bit of a change. So I figured I'd throw a quick video together, try and get back on the horse, so to speak, and see where I can take it. So let me get a brew and uh, we'll get started. Right, match that priority taken care of. As you can tell from my surroundings, I have uh, I've made it down to the unit today, the workshop. This place has been sorely neglected for the last few months. Basically just well, for a number of reasons, but kind of look at the year we've had and, it, and it's kind of self-explanatory. So I think we should maybe take a look at 2020. Not that we really want to, let's face it. Uh, and what it meant for me and this space and all the rest of it. So thinking back, if you can cast your mind way back to that long distant video uh, about how I was going to restart the channel and, and do things fantastically. That, that didn't quite go to plan, did it? Basically, my this, this whole project, uh, in a potion, the business, this workshop space, everything that you can kind of see around you here, uh, is all funded from the work that I was doing offshore. And during 2020, pandemic time, that all kind of ground to a halt around about, I think, August, September time. I only did two jobs last year. Uh, I would normally do five or six trips away. I did two, uh, a piddly out amount of days that I did away, which kind of meant that this whole place had to get put very much on hold. It's now just become a cost. Uh, I'm, I'm hopeful that this year, obviously, things will loosen up with the vaccines coming in and all that good stuff. And we'll get things back on track to a certain extent, but it has meant that rather than focusing on trying to, to market and sell underwater drones and small ROVs to people, which requires the purchase of stock. Uh, I'm now changing focus just now to use the kit that I've got to provide services to business that can allow me to earn uh, without the overheads and, and all the rest of it. Just basically use what I've got to, to try and make some money and just keep the dream alive, if you like. So, but that, that's kind of led to a couple of changes elsewhere. Obviously everyone's lifestyles changed because of the horrific year that was 2020. And let's face it, the start of 2021 hasn't really been much better. Um, but that's just meant that I've spent the last maybe two or three weeks, you know, get, got through Christmas and all the rest of it. And we had a couple of birthdays in January to take care of. And, and now it's come to the point where I really need to be looking at the year ahead and, and how I'm going to plan things out. I sat down for a couple of weeks and reevaluated what I wanted to do Business-wise, work-wise, YouTube-wise, social media-wise, everything basically just had a good, a good rummage through the box up there, and I've come up with a couple of ideas, which I'd like to explain to you and get your feedback on potentially. But as I say, haven't been here for a while. The place is a state, so before I get started, I'm going to get the place tidied up so that I can focus on the job through in the office that I need to do today, which is a bit of a rearrangement and some setting up some gear, uh, which we'll also get a description and some more explanation of shortly. So just let me get on with this and then we shall resume.
Right, workshop's done. This place is next, but before I get started on it, I wanted to try and give you a kind of quick explanation of where my head's at, what's happening with the channel and all that kind of stuff. I know I'm a horrific waffler, and once I get started, this could end up being uh, a 25 minute talking head shot, boring you all to death. So I just need to be a little bit cautious about that. There's, there's kind of three things that I want to get across in this video, quick video. The first is basically just to get back on, on YouTube again. Like I say, get back in the saddle, make a little bit of a video, try out one of my decisions, which is to shoot on iPhone rather than big camera gear. And there's reasons for that, which will become apparent as time goes on. Um, but the kind of thing, the two main things are this channel and, an, and a new additional channel with a different direction. They actually both have different directions. This one, this channel was always supposed to be a bit of a documentary of me taking a business idea, seeing it through to fruition, and ultimately making my passion my profit. And for a number of reasons, um, namely COVID, uh, and a change in working circumstances and everything, really there's not been a story to tell, um, not one that would be interesting anyway. So. Uh, that's forced me to reevaluate this channel. And the idea that I came up with for this additional channel then kind of related back to this and how I can actually use this. One of my problems with this channel is the fact that I'm not an established filmmaker. I don't have a huge amount of skill when it comes to video production. Uh, I know that content creation is something that I really want to do. And from the limited experience that I've had with it so far, I've really enjoyed it and I know I want to get better. So this channel really is now going to become more about that. Um, it's, it's more so the journey of me doing the learning, um, going out and trying things, visiting, hopefully when we can move around a bit more, visiting new places with the tech that I have, uh, mainly aerial drones and unlike most people, underwater stuff, ROVs and underwater drones. Uh, and, and basically just trying to find a way to make content that I can be proud of, uh, that I'm happy sharing on YouTube or anywhere else. Uh, and that's, I'm basically looking at how I'm using that to make my other content creation better. So, so the videos I'm making for an emotion, uh, I want them to be better. I've got my whole website of things is kind of kicked off again with the offshore site being so quiet. I've been doing bits and pieces of web and I've kind of rediscovered the whole enjoyment for the creative process on that side of things. Uh, my, so my web business also has an empty YouTube channel, which I'd love to do some development tutorials on. And the new channel, right? This, bear with me. I know I'm probably boring you already, but stick with me because this might be interesting to some folk. A quick explanation of where I see myself. This, this whole lockdown process when you get a chance to sit and think about things, it's dangerous at times. But what I've identified more than anything else, because I asked my, myself the question of why this hadn't maybe gone the way that I, I saw it going and why other ideas I've had have maybe not seen themselves through to fruition. And what I've identified is something that I found quite interesting is that I'm an ideas man, right? I'm a, a kind of entrepreneurial mind. I come up with crazy schemes and, and ideas. Some of them good, some of them horrific, many of them horrific but I think they're good. Ask my wife, she'll tell you. But what I did identify from that is that the area that I take a lot of enjoyment from, and I have spent a lot of time in, is that the seed to day one, right? So you, you come up with an idea and then you have to go through that process of, right, well, what, what software or apps or web services or what technology am I gonna need to take this idea to the point that I can open my doors on day one or sell my first project or land my first client or whatever it is. That whole bit in the middle, that's where I take a lot of enjoyment from because 
I'd, I've been a web developer and software developer for, for many years and, and it's something that interests me. So I love looking at what tools are on the market, what's available, how I can tailor them, how they can be integrated to better organize, to make more efficient, to streamline, uh, to simplify in many occasions your processes so that you can then focus on your passion and all of the cogs that are working behind it are all slotted into place. That's where I can help. That's where I think I can genuinely add a little bit of value because I've tried a ton of task management software. I've tried a ton of project management software, uh, cloud data storage, you name it. Um, that's something I'm weirdly passionate about is, is looking at all these great services and tools that people come up with and seeing how I can fit them into my workflow in a, in a good way. But rather than just talking about them, I want to use them and, and do tutorials and demos. So for that, I need a bit of a different setup. And I've got some basic lighting here. I've got a podcast style mic and I'm going to make a little bit of a set in here that's going to allow me to do screencast style videos for our tutorials for the for my web channel and for that and for the new one um, without really throwing a big investment in it at a time when everyone's obviously watching their pennies and it means I get to use this space whilst I still have it so that's the plan that's what I'm going to do today there'll, there'll be more of an explanation another time hopefully you've got a rough idea uh, and that's and that's basically how I'm going to end this video I think it's good to be back. Uh, I hope you're all doing okay. I hope you've managed to survive homeschooling, lockdowns, changing work practices, all that kind of stuff. Uh, one last thing I will say before I go, because it's, I mean, we're February now, but I don't do New Year's resolutions, but I do try and set goals for the year. And one of my goals for this year is to like more YouTube videos. Now that sounds a bit crazy, but I'm really bad for watching a video, enjoying it, and not hitting the like button. Now, somebody who is trying to get their foot back in on the YouTube scale, I'm about to ask you to like this video. It's just down there. It would do me a massive favor if you, if you would take the time. And whilst you're down there, do the subscribe and do something with the bell and, and all that good stuff. I'll need to get back into this again. But I just want to show content creators who have kept me entertained throughout the lockdown a little bit of appreciation and taking the time to hit the like button doesn't cost me anything and I know it does a lot for everyone else so why not do the same why don't we actually show some appreciation to the people who have taken the time to to create something to share for free ultimately to entertain you or to educate you or to put a smile on your face or in this case to bore the hell out of you because I've probably achieved that to be fair but anyway I will leave it there, I will get on because it's nice to be here and I want to use the time to the best of my ability. I will hopefully be back with another video soon, uh, explaining things in some more clarity hopefully and not waffling quite as much. Like I say, give me a like, do the subscription thing, hit the bell, all that good stuff and I'll see you again in another video really soon. Cheers.